Do you feel like the chain store? The right to kill you thought One of many zeros Cakes around board It is a full but you're empty How's it going folks, this is Wayne Orr, back with another lesson and as always we've got another great song today, uh, Blur and Coffee and TV. I did Beetle Bum about a month ago now and I got quite a few requests for this one uh, and I'm, I'm hoping to do a few more Blur lessons because I haven't really done that many of them. So uh, if you have got any requests for any others other than this one and a couple of others that I've done, um, you're very welcome to sort of comment in the post below or you know the drill, you can message me. Uh, this is more of an intermediate song, uh, I wouldn't say it's a beginner song, there's quite a lot of bar chords in it. I'm going to show you the percussive way that I play it, which I think is quite effective, or if you don't want to do that, you can just do it as a, an out and out strummer. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and really there's only sort of, you know, two parts of this. There's, there's mainly a verse and a chorus, and a little bit of an outro, which we'll get to a little bit later on. So uh, the first chord you need is going to be a B. Okay, that's going to go for two bars, so we've got a B, that's your first bar chord. Then we're going to go to an A minor, and then we're going to do this E9 into an E chord. So what we're actually doing, if you do a regular E chord, we're just going to put the little pinky on the second fret on the top E string, and sort of do, you know, two beats and two beats on a normal E. So we got the B, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, we've got an A minor, two, three, four, go to a G, F major 7 with a C bass in, so regular viewers to my uh, channel know exactly which one I mean, but if you are, if you haven't just come across me, if you take your regular F major 7, all we're going to do is move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, and a little pinky will go on the 3rd fret on the D string, and then we're going to go to a B flat, and then a D flat. Okay, so that's pretty much your verse, so I'll just sort of sing that through nice and slow so you can see how all that sort of gels together. So we got the B, A minor, E9 to E, G, F major 7 with a C bass, we got a B flat, a D flat, back to the B. Do you feel like a chainsaw, a bride's a pillow? This time we go B flat to an A. So give me, and then we're into the uh, chorus. So the chorus chords are a C sharp minor seven. So basically, we took a C sharp minor. All we're going to do is take the little pinky off. So that's going to be your first chord. Then we're going to go to a B. Then we're going to go to an A. Now I tend to do it a lazy A a lot, you know, just sort of boring. You know, rather than playing the full A chord. You don't have to do that, you can do the, you know, the three-fingered A, but I tend to sort of use the pad of my finger and do what we call a lazy A in the business. Um, so we've got a C sharp minor, C sorry, C sharp minor seven. We've got the B, A, back to the C sharp minor seven, E, A, B. Okay, so I'll just sing that through. So give me coffee and TV easily. I've 
seen so much, but I'm going blind. I'm afraid that virtually about to be that touch ability. It's hard enough for me. Take me away from this big bad. This time we go A, D, E. So we can start back to an F again. Okay, so that all pretty much repeats. We've got another verse, another chorus, uh, and then we've got a guitar solo, uh, which basically goes over the verse chord. So obviously, you know, we've got the B, A minor, D9 e into the E, G, F major 7, B flat into the D flat. So it goes around twice and then it, the second time around it finishes on the A chord again and then takes us back into the chorus. Give me coffee and tea easily. I've seen so much but I'm going blind but I'm brain dead virtually. We can start over again And we got this little coda which goes B D To an A We can start over again Round again, so we got the B D To an A We can start over again Finish on the B Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the way to play it percussively in a minute, but if you don't want to play it that way, a good strumming pattern will be a... So a down, down, up, down, up, down. So that would be a... Okay, which works perfectly fine and I think you know the actual uh, song isn't far off doing that pattern anyway uh, but I think it's really effective if you're playing it acoustically to sort of do it percussively now I have done a lesson for this sort of strumming percussive strumming if you want to go on my playlist and look at technique lessons I did a little course on strumming so I do cover this one a little bit more thoroughly but basically what we're doing we're doing a down up and on the on the second down, we use that part of the palm and just sort of completely cover the string so we get this sort of muted effect. It's quite difficult to do. And it takes a lot of practice. But if you want to check uh, that strumming lesson out I did, I think probably a couple of years ago now, it's going to go into that a little bit more detail. Uh, so that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. I really enjoyed doing that one. Uh, but like I say, it's not a beginner song. It's more an intermediate song. So that's uh, aimed at the more sort of seasoned players. Uh, but it's a good one to aim for if you are a beginner. Great song. Great band blur. You know, obviously I was always in the Oasis camp. But uh, you can't take... I, I think I like blur a lot more now. I think you look back and you realise how good blur actually were in the day. In the peak. You know, a lot better than a lot of bands that are sort of around today. Very, very creative, very British, uh, and what more can you say? So, thanks very much for watching that. Like I say, I hope you all dug it, and thanks everyone who requested that. Um, if you do want to request any other, not just Blur songs, anything in particular, 50s to modern day, a lot of you know the drill now. You can leave a comment in the post below, or you can send me a personal message on social media. So, I'm Wayne Our Guitar on Facebook. Twitter and now also Instagram and I'd appreciate it if you give me a follow on there anyway so you can see what I'm up to and uh, it's a good way of getting your requests and not just requests uh, you know if you want any advice you don't be scared of sort of messaging me I'll try my best to sort of help you out and, and reply to your message as I always do uh, but I'd just like to say thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who subscribed and continues to do so um, if you want to hit that little notification down there if you are subscribed 
the little bell there uh, you'll get notified every time I post a video up which is either once or twice a week these days sometimes more depending how sort of creative and uh, how much time I have to do this so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon take care